I asked KJ to come meet me out, you know, just so we could have a talk to figure out what went happened like the night at the pajama party. So we met up, you know what I'm saying? This is real funny. What's up, man? So thanks for coming out, man. You know? I mean, the other night was kind of crazy. Um, it was a lot of things. It, yeah. That was a, a interesting situation. So Trip hit me up basically to um talk. You and Mo had a little situation going on and in the middle of the conversation you kinda like flipped it and started directing your anger towards me. So that was kinda like a problem. Like we were cool like the whole night talking and then I got to know where you just kinda like I mean, I basically figured what it was. I had spaz on him and he didn't really know why. So I assumed that he wanted to talk and figure out why, you know, everything kind of went left. I mean, you have no way of knowing it, but I mean, number one, me and Mo have a lot of history and me and Mo are no longer friends. And that was the first time that me and Mo have been around each other since we haven't been friends. So. It wasn't even necessarily me spazzing on you, but in the situation out of outside of Mo saying something, like you were the one to chime in on the situation. So what kind of bothered me, it was like, without knowing like the history or the situation itself, you kind of jumped in like, well, I mean, if you stay with him for so and so, then I mean, that sounds like a friend to me and it's like, this goes so much deeper so I could explain why it was so much passion in that situation and exactly what happened. And I was that speaking night, because y'all was talking about it in front of everybody. But, but it wasn't a situation that you were ever involved in. So it was like for you, for you or anybody else that was at that party, for anybody to have put and and not so known the actual bring it situation. Up in front of everybody. Why didn't you brought it up. You gotta ask him that. We talked about it. I got a better understanding of what happened that night. Um, I do get what KJ was saying now. So you kind of like put your issues out, you know, when he asked you, you could have said we could talk about it later. You know what I'm saying? So it's my fault. Because I'm not he... saying it's nobody's fault, but I'm just saying once you, when, when he asked you the question, if you didn't want to talk about that in front of everybody, then you should have said, you know, that's the situation we can talk about by ourselves because I don't want to talk about it in front of everybody. You know, he explained his part like he felt like because we put it out there for the group that he had, you know, the room to just speak on the situation and I think now here you should look at it. Y'all was worth once friends before and I think y'all need to get together and talk about it. Because I'm obviously good. it's like some type of feelings there. I think Mo feels some type of way that y'all not friends and he probably just don't know what's going on. Like <laughs> I think y'all should get together and talk about it. For Mo to not know what's going on, it is... I mean, it seemed like you didn't know to me. Mo hasn't really been there for him as a friend, and he's just using that one, you know, instance to kind of like say, you know, put on a whole friendship, and it was a lot of stuff that I just didn't know about. You're new to the situation, you're new to the group. It's not gonna take long before he starts to show you his true character. I'm gonna okay, just so, leave it so like it's that. Some, it's like a relationship that you just totally done with. You don't never I'm done. I don't, I don't want it anymore. At uh, it this end, like it's just something more to it, man. I, I don't it's it's not any. It's be friends for eight years. It's just, it just seems like I grew up. I took responsibility so for when the last what. Time y'all talked like 2014. Is that after you stayed with him? I don't know exactly when. In my life, like for real. You left, you ain't even say goodbye. To who? To Mo or nobody. Mo's never home. So was I supposed to wait and say goodbye or something like that? Really, my dude? So what did he do? That's just so detrimental to y'all friendship. Anybody that calls themselves a friend and every time your name comes out of their mouth, they have something negative to say about you. That is not anybody that I would call a friend. He pretty much filled me in on how their friendship is and 
you know, I gotta say, like, sometimes it's time to just let people go. So I, I feel, I feel KJ. Everybody ain't meant to be your friend forever. And if a person stop being what you need in that friendship, then deuces, let them go. Like, I feel them. Like, why are you? That's the type of stuff I don't like, like, you know what I mean? But like I said, I don't know Mo, so I can't take sides or take what he has done, or, you know. You outgrow friendships, that's all you it is. Friendships. I mean, I gotta watch you. I wouldn't necessarily well, say you good. I mean, because, I mean, I felt like you had somewhat crossed over and it was like. I don't have no alliance or nothing to nobody because I don't know nobody coming in. But, you know, as far as me, like, you know, trying to be cool with everybody, I'm just meeting everybody for the first time. So I don't know who is who, you know what I'm saying? Me and you, we was talking in the beginning of the night and we, you know, clicked and hit it off. We was laughing and joking and I thought that was cool, you know what I'm saying? So I don't have no alliance to nobody, I'm just me. I think uh, there is a chance for us to build a friendship. I just have to see, you know, where things go with him because, I mean, he think he's like the NeNe Leaks of like the cast and it's like, come on now. We're on a path now where we feel like we're willing to squash that and move forward. So we'll see what tomorrow has in store for it. But for right now, I think we're cool. That's just kind of like questionable to me, but I'm still trying to see, you know, where we go as friends, like see what happens. So I still can't get an apology for you flipping out on me. You know, you definitely don't see where you went wrong. I will apologize for the way in which I came at you. But I don't feel completely wrong in this situation, but I, I will apologize for that. I basically apologize because I realized I was wrong. I wasn't, I didn't feel like I was wrong for going at him, period, because I still feel like he was wrong for adding his input into the situation. But I do feel like I was wrong for the way in which I did it. Like, I basically cussed this dude out in front of everybody just because... No, it wasn't my fault. No, I mean, I mean, I mean we're, 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 we're not gonna backtrack and do this back and forth. I mean, it, it's all right for right now. I'm watching you though. We'll see. We'll see.